If you're a language teacher or a language student and you use YouTube in any way, you're gonna absolutely love this video. I'm gonna show you three language learning features in YouTube. They're all really special and super quick, and I'm promising you the third one is particularly interesting. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. But most of all, I'd love to have many more of you that watch my videos actually, uh, actually subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So this is the first trick. Watch this. I'm going to search for um, a, la a video, let's say one for learning English. So I'm going to put shopping in English. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, intermediate level. Okay, so I'm going to get the level right. And hopefully we're going to find lots and lots of things about shopping in English. Okay, and various things have come up on the screen. Now there's a huge choice. But did you realize that you can click on the filters here? And what you can do now is say, well, I only want videos that are between four and 20 minutes. Okay, and that will filter that. Now you've only got videos between four and 20 minutes, but I could go back and say, well, actually, I only want videos that have been produced this year. That's also possible. But perhaps the most useful one is this feature, and it's connected to the second thing I wanna show you. Watch this. I'm gonna click on videos with subtitles. Now, this brings up videos with subtitles, but not subtitles that have been generated by YouTube. These are subtitles that have been uploaded by the person that loads the video. So the subtitles are likely to be much more accurate. And now this is connected to my second feature. Watch this. So if I click, for example, on this video, <laughs> I know this video has got subtitles, but did you realize if you scroll down, you need to click on this button here in the description called more, and you will find that there is a button that gives you the transcript or the subtitles. So I'm gonna click on that, and now the transcript will appear here on the right-hand side. Now you'll notice that it's got the actual times, but you can turn those off here. So you can turn off the timestamps. Now this is really interesting because now I can control the video and also I can copy any words that I don't understand and put them into Google Translate. Let me show you. If I play the video <laughs> All right. and click here American grocery store. and I click here I would like to speak English with Vanessa.com and click here Do you like Freddie as we go into this grocery store? So you can use this to control the part of the video that you play, but watch this, this is really useful. Let's say that there's a sentence that you don't understand, but you can just simply copy that sentence. Come over to Google Translate and get a quick translation of the word. Paste in that sentence that I've just copied and it's gonna give me, say, a translation into Spanish or whatever language you want. Now actually, Google Translate itself has got many, many features that people don't know. And there's something in Google Translate that I call the magic button. And I've made a video about it. It's brilliant for language learners and language teachers. And if you wanna watch that video, it's on the screen now. And I know that that video has already been played more than 100,000 times, so it's proved really popular. We're gonna move on now to the third feature that I wanna show you. And this is really special and something that I'm using all the time. Don't forget, if you like the video, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, but most of all, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's have a look now at this third feature. Now I'm gonna link YouTube to a completely free technology, you can use it for free every day, called Gaston. And I'm gonna show you what Gaston does. It doesn't only extract the transcript, which we already know how to do, but it, then it allows you to work with that transcript. So for example, I'm clicking on the search facility and I'm gonna write the sense or the word R, and it's gonna give me all the examples of the word R being used 
in this video. Now that seems like a useful feature, but look at this. I can also click up here and have this translated into any other language I like. That is also useful, but look at this. I can also go through the transcript and highlight, and you can see I've actually done it already, highlight any sentences that I wanna focus on. So if I'm working through this particular transcript and I find something that I really want to highlight I can just click here and then it will highlight that now another feature look at this if I come across a sentence that I want to copy I can just click on that and copy it now that's not the best obviously you're able to play the video directly from here and of course it will play the transcript and the audio at the same time and we can jump into any parts of the audio and just play it about that naturally launched another world tour just wrapped uh... I love the way that it does that but this is the most amazing feature you can actually use this with ChatGPT because ChatGPT is embedded into the system so I can click here for example and you'll see lots of things that I've already done with ChatGPT I've asked it to make for me some true or false questions I've asked it to highlight for me some key technology from the text that I want to learn and it's also made a summary of the transcript now Gaston as I said is free let me show you how it works you literally take any YouTube video so we could go back to that video we've been watching copy the link to the video at the top of the screen and then paste that into Gaston and press on add now I have to admit I've ended up paying for Gaston because it's so useful but you can use this for free every day I'll put a link below in the description so you can access it it's a fantastic tool and the fact that it's got chat GPT embedded inside makes it really special okay hope you found that video useful I really like Gaston I find it very useful and I'm using it almost on the daily basis to study languages um, there is another brilliant technology that I've come across recently for language learners it's called EduCafe and what I like about it is that you can write in uh, whatever story you want or whatever text you want you can just give it a quick description and it will generate a nice story for you at the right level uh, but it will also produce the audio so you get the listening and the reading at the same time but then along with the listening and the reading it generates a list of useful vocabulary to study in preparation for reading the story as well as a list of comprehension questions and I'm going to put that on the screen now so if you want to watch that video there it is and I can highly recommend that particular technology one other thing if you want more free videos come over to teachertrainingvideos.com there's loads of free content on my website all the videos are free and it's all about using technology in language learning and if you're a teacher you might want to sign up to the newsletter if you sign up to the newsletter you will get a free mini course on key technologies for using in language teaching literally everything that i highlight is free there are one or two tools that you would need to pay for but basically everything is free and i send you a video about every three or four days to get that free course all you need to do is sign up to the newsletter and the newsletter i only send out once a week thanks ever so much hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe